Hey everybody, welcome to HasFans Unlimited Gaming. This is Micro Game Reviews, and today we're talking about Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom from Panic Arcade. Ready? Go! What do you get when you combine Saturday morning cartoons, the birth of 3D gaming, and that weird ass carpet they had in like malls and movie theaters and arcades and shit? You know the one, with all the squiggles and it got real crunchy after years of spilled sodas and tracked in dirt from everyone wearing high tops. Well, throw all that stuff in a blender and you get the raw radical feeling of pure 90s nostalgia. And that's exactly how this game makes you feel. Yellow Taxi Goes Room is the throwback of all throwbacks to all the genres of games that made the decade leading up to the millennium a wild and wacky playground of new ideas. With the introduction of the Z-axis to gaming, this game has it all, with the overall design philosophy drawing from N64 platformers like Mario and Banjo, speed and vehicular movements of the Dreamcast library, and the charm and experiment of the original PlayStation. The basic idea of the game is that of a retro 3D platformer where you play as a little wind-up taxi cab, but with a twist that you can't jump. The game gives you a large variety of ways to traverse the levels, including ramping off the geometry, purposely stalling the car mid-air to throw yourself around, and even a little helicopter propeller hat. Speaking of hats, this game has a crap ton of them to customize your little Tonka truck taxi bro. Like any self-respecting 3D 3D platformer, you've got tons of coins scattered in every level, which you can use to pick up new headgear for your little old head as you putter along on your journey. The journey itself takes place in your creator's laboratory, reminiscent of Peach's Castle or Gruntilda's Lair. Also, similar to those games, you collect a main item, in this game's case being gears, which you can use to unlock stages as you venture further in the hub world. The levels themselves are full of some of the best examples of weird and wacky done so goddamn right. The three main level types this game has to offer are your standard platforming stage, crazy taxi style, helping citizens get from point A to point B, and even semi top down levels with similar vibes to those old micro machine games. Even with these level types, the themings are full of some really fun stage layouts, platforming gimmicks, and even a bright pink King Kong ass just waiting to be charged into. With engaging gameplay, insanely eye grabbing visuals, and a killer soundtrack to match, we can't give this game less than a 10 out of 10, and a full endorsement to play this game back to front to find every little magical moment of crazy this game has to offer. Now I gotta kick it back into gear and uber this little doggy back home to his little house on this pizza planet. Catch you later dudes! Thank <laughs> you.